All right, it's Tess here again with another book review. The sun's really getting in my face, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. This book I got for Christmas, and I was just sort of searching around for something new. It's called The Anubis Gates by Tim Powers. It, if you're looking for something like Egyptian-based, this is not really it. It sort of misleads you. That's the name of something in the book, but that's not what the book's about predominantly. Um, it's more set in England most of the time. If you're looking for something outside of the box, this is it. I personally am a huge fan of time travel anything. Back to the Future movies, Diana Gabaldon series, which goes back in time, um, some romance novels. I'm just intrigued with the whole time travel anything. Um, and so I kind of found this that way, looking for something in that genre. I found it absolutely fascinating. This was written a long time ago, I think like in 82, 81. It won a whole bunch of awards. It sort of changed how the sci-fi industry started looking at things. It opened up a whole new genre. He is sort of like the father of alternate realities, um, time travel, all that kind of stuff. This book just takes you on the biggest journey and there's some kind of complex things to think about. Like there's a guy that, um, he switches bodies with you so what happens is he the body he's in say I'm him he poisons this body and then he switches bodies with you and you wake up and you're like dying and you can't oh he also well I won't tell about it so but nobody knows it until it's too late and it's really hard to catch him because obviously if he keeps switching bodies like how are they gonna catch him um, it's heavily time travel based there's a lot of jumping around uh, there's foreshadowing, there's, um, oh, the guy that steals bodies also, he has some sort of, like, hairy werewolf something, so that's why he switches bodies so often, because in about four days, he's completely covered in hair, so it's, like, the person who's not only dying, they're, like, they think they're a huge ape monkey, I know, it sounds totally off the wall, but in the book, it makes sense, I absolutely loved it. I might have to read it again just because it was so interesting, so different. I could not predict things. I could not guess what was going to happen. Everything, every new creature, every new person he met was something different I had never read before. So, um, I haven't read any more of his books. I'm going to. I've heard they're pretty good. Most people say they're not as good as this one. So that's why it's kind of sad when you read something good and hope they wrote something better or as good. So I would love to hear comments from anybody who's read this book or after you read it come back and do like a little video comment your review if you liked it or not and um, I've got to get out of the sun it's a little hot right here so I'll talk to all of you guys soon and hopefully you pick up this book and of course I'll put the link in the sidebar whichever side I don't remember <laughs> over there for you guys to pick it up if you want to buy it and I'll talk to you guys later hopefully from a less bright and much cooler location. Bye-bye. <laughs>